second, guys. I am live here. Hi. What's going ah. on? Oh, no. Shoot. Julie's down here. Ah. I've never used this setup before. Um, hold on. Okay. Sorry, guys. One second. <clears throat> and I don't think I've ever done live before alone that I can recall on YouTube. Um, sorry, I'm five minutes late. I'm seven minutes late. But Matt's, Matt was like, yeah, you got to be like five minutes late. I was like, no, I want to be on time. But we were actually having some technical difficulties. And I am drinking a Spindrift. It's the half lemon, half tea. This is my favorite flavor of theirs I highly recommend it and originally or Matt wanted this to be at 7 p.m. and I was like no 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 or he wanted to be after Theo went to bed and I was like no I think we should do it while Theo's awake so I can get time away Theo is just being a wild child today he's going through a mental leap I know we're not here to talk about him but it has been a day a rough day I am very tired happy new year to everyone Excited you guys are here. We're just going to be meal planning. So I don't really do meal prep in the sense like I cook for several days in a row and have the same meals. I like to have new meals every single day. Um, we have a schedule that that is possible, but I will also, also share some of our favorite like meal prep so you can actually batch meal prep stuff. But um, I like to do meal planning on Sunday. So for Monday through Friday, it's all decided. And then on the weekends, I like to let Matt decide what he wants and let him do some cooking. So that's what we're going to do here. And I use Pinterest. I use our website. And I just use, excuse me, sorry. I just use like whatever I'm craving. And usually a lot of it is just like what I'm craving. And Matt has to just enjoy it. Um, we figured the baby made you late. We were right. Mad. Matt made you late. Yeah. Matt and Matt's the baby, is that what you're saying? I mean, I'm sure a lot of you can relate if you're moms or wives that once you have a child, your husband also turns into your other child. Happy New Year. Love wild toddlers. I do too when they're sleeping. Like when Theo's sleeping, it is just, he goes to bed at 7. We get into bed at 7.30. It's just, it's the best. <clears throat> okay, so I am just going to start. Let me make my screen small. Screen share. That is right. And, you know, I'm not appreciating this angle because you can just, you're just getting a huge, like, sideburn look. And, like, I have sideburns and I don't want to be showing them off, but Matt set this angle up. So, sorry to you guys. <laughs> Someone said, first time here, first time doing keto. Yay, welcome. Well, this is the perfect place to be and to start because first thing I'm going to do is talk about our challenge here. So we're doing a 30 under 20 challenge. It starts tomorrow, even though it is the 4th of January, but it's a Monday. It's a clean break. Everyone's jamming food into their mouth right now because they know they have to get kind of strict, get to business starting tomorrow. So Matt had his final quest cookie of the night like an hour ago and someone messaged us on instagram and said well that's only four net carbs you could totally have that but matt's kind of doing that also as like a personal thing he's been having a quest cookie every day i want to say for like 10 years but it's, it's just been a couple months and I, I think he wants to like step back from that so this could also be a good time to start you know just making other types of goals. It doesn't have to be net carb related. It could be like, hey, I'm doing too much sweeteners. Hey, I'm, you know, I'm not waking up early enough. I'm not being active enough. I'm not getting good sleep. There's so many other things you can focus on along with this 30, hashtag 30 under 20 challenge. So if you do it, definitely tag us on Instagram, share with us what you're making. And so all you have to do here is fill in your name and your email and you can join the challenge. We have, I think Matt said like 2,500 or 2,700 people already doing it with us, which is very exciting. And you'll get a packet, as it says here, keto friendly food list, track carbs video. Matt did a couple of videos. Matt is just a solid video maker, editor. And um, yeah, he is very 
easy on the eyes so also fun to watch so that is our challenge so definitely get on board and even if you don't do it you can still join me here Sundays we're going to be meal planning and this isn't going to be like too long or too crazy you don't have to like have a ton of notes I'm just going to show you how I do it I think Matt said he was going to set something up for me to write down my meals I don't think he did oh okay he set up yeah a little to doist meal planning section so I'll be honest with you guys, we do have some staples, so I will share that. But okay, so what I what I always do is just I go to Pinterest and you know, the first thing lately what I'd been doing the past couple months was paleo dinners, paleo meals because with Thea we've just been not restricting ourselves to like only keto meals, like I'll find delicious looking paleo meals and then I'll obviously like sub out the potatoes and put in another veggie. But um I don't mind just like looking at different types of meals and doesn't have to just be keto but for this challenge of course i will just do like keto dinners and whatever really catches my eye guys and also it has to be like matt friendly so matt would never eat like taco stuffed peppers but that sounds really good to me so like that's something you know if matt was matt wasn't my husband i would totally make um but yeah, I literally, I'm laying on the couch, Theo's in bed, and I'm just browsing. So like keto shrimp coconut curry, that sounds super good. Um, I'll, I'll pull it up like this. I'll look at the ingredients. Very simple. I have all of this stuff. I love using coconut milk. It's a great dairy substitute. You could probably also use cream. It'll give a slightly different taste, but one cup of heavy cream if you don't have the coconut milk work. So easy sub. And then instead of shrimp, I'd probably do... Um, you know, chicken, or you could even do like salmon. So I will save this. So I do have a board that I created and I think it's just called Mega's meal planning board. So I'm going to save it there. It's saved. So you guys can follow this board. Um, if you go to our keto connect interest, uh, keto connect Pinterest and an another similar recipe that I actually want to make this week is I'll just type in curry. So it pulls up all the recipes is our keto salmon curry. This one is so effing good. If Matt didn't, I talk about Matt a lot. That's so weird. I guess that's what you do when you have a husband, wife, spouse, partner. Um, so this recipe is so good. And this chili garlic paste right here, it's by Thai Kitchen. We actually have it upstairs. I should have wrote it down. But it is, um, it's a red curry paste by Thai Kitchen. I found it in every single grocery store in the ethnic section. And it's not like super high carb at all. And you only need a little bit, see, tea, tea, two teaspoons right here. And this recipe is super good. So I'm definitely going to be making this this week. I've been craving a lot more seafood. So let's, I'm even going to just take the link. And then I'm going to go to my board. And so what I will do is, what is today's date? I have no idea. Okay. Oh, it's 321. Can you guys believe it? Can I do this? Okay. I'm going to do that. And then underneath. So that'll just be like my week. So Monday will be salmon curry. And then in the notes section comment section I'll just put the link and I mean you could just write this down in a notebook you can put it in a spreadsheet or something but I like to keep track like this like I do this in my own to doist because next week or the week after next week or three weeks from now sometimes I like to look back and be like what did I make and then I remember like oh that was super good I want to make that again so that's why I like to keep track like this of the meals I make week to week Sorry, I'm talking a lot. I'm getting very thirsty. So it's great that you and Matt share this passion. It is very nice, but it maybe we don't share a lot about how it could get in the way of your relationship. But when you do the same things like every single day together, now we do a lot of different things. Obviously, I have Theo, Matt's mainly working. Um, but at the start we did everything together and it was really, really, it was just, it was a lot for a relationship to bear, but we made it through.
here we are. Okay, so that's what, so I don't know if I wanna do that Monday. So I like to just pick out my meals and then I decide what I wanna do Mondays. Mondays we usually do taco night and Matt's favorite night is taco night. So we always have a simple recipe for that. Excuse me. Again, and I'll talk about it. I will just briefly tell you what it is because that'll make it easy for you. Um, okay, so taco night, we always use this one seasoning. We used to make our own, but it's so much easier to find like a ready-made seasoning that's really good. And like this one's not too spicy at all. I will just do the full camera so you guys can see it up close. It's the Siete taco seasoning. They have a spicy one, but I don't do spice and Theo doesn't do spice. So we get the mild one has a slight kick. Super good. I've found this in Whole Foods. I haven't really looked anywhere else, but we have like a bunch of packets of these and we just use a packet or you can use half if the carbs get up there for you. Um, just use half for like a taco night for the seasoning. So we usually do either ground beef and bell peppers or chicken and bell peppers. I think we're going to do ground beef and bell peppers this week and we'll use that seasoning. And then as far as wrap goes, there's several options. So for this 30 under 20 challenge, the best option that's going to give you the best bang for your buck. I guess there's a couple. There's going to be lettuce wraps, of course. Those aren't the best because they don't hold together well but there's cauliflower thins which are super good um you can find those in trader joe's i've seen them in sprouts excuse me um you can use you could use low carb tortillas because they're usually anywhere between four and six net carbs we just don't love to use the tortillas just like they have wheat in them. They just have unsavory ingredients. So, uh, but that is always an option. And then we have these coconut wraps here. We like to have a lot. And it's four net carbs per wrap. So that's a little high. I guess it depends on how many carbs you use throughout the day. But I feel like Matt would be good with using one of these and then maybe like a couple, couple cauliflower thins. Um, and just you can also do like a taco bowl. So like a bowl full of the, um, the chicken and the bell pepper. And then you can do cauliflower rice. You can do lettuce. You can do tomato, avocado. Just make, make like a fun bowl. I would love. I would probably like prefer that over to like tacos. I love like a bowl mixed of just like delicious foods. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. So we're going to do taco night. Yay. And this time we're going to do ground beef and bell. You guys can see how terribly I type. Okay. So those are two meals. So then I, got, I haven't showed you a ton on Pinterest, but literally all I do, like I said, is just scroll and um, look at what looks good to me. I'm trying, let's, let's see what you guys have to say. Oh, I'm not even sharing. Okay, so I just scroll and I look at what looks good to me. Oh, jicama wraps. Yes, thank you, NY2 Philly, Joanne. A lot of you guys mentioned that. Jicama wraps, so, so good and so fresh. And one net carb maybe for, or one total carb for one, maybe two. But you can get those at Trader Joe's. We like to get those. They don't last very long though. Um, so... We don't always use all of them for one taco night. And by the time the next week rolls around, they go bad, which is a shame. Um, but jicama wraps are super good. Thank you guys for that reminder. Um, hmm. Sorry, I'm getting really thirsty. It's hot down here. Someone asked what I'm drinking. I'm drinking a Spindrift half lemon, half tea. Can't really see it. Okay. So this is just... I highly recommend these just um, it's sparkling water and then like whatever the base of it is. So like lemon juice and brewed black tea and then carbonated water. And it's so good. It's like slightly sweet, but there's no sweetener. And you can get like a lemon one. You can get raspberry ones. Super good. Um, someone said they can never find the jicama wraps, but the coconut wraps are bomb. Yeah, you have so many good options out there, guys. I mean, I don't even miss like real tacos, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> someone said make sure the jicama wraps are fresh or you'll be sitting on the toilet forever yeah so if you can tell when they go bad they get like slimy I just like toss them immediately it sucks um, uh, blah, blah, blah. sorry 
Quest chips taste great but get soggy quick. Oh, Quest chips are a great option for this 30 under 20. So like one bag is five net carbs, maybe four net carbs, and that could be good. Um, so you could do tacos uh, or nachos. We do nachos a lot too. But I, we did those last week. So we did pork rind and bell pepper nachos last week. That's a great recipe as well. Okay, so let's move on. So we always do a steak night. So we did steak night tonight and last night. We've just been loving steak. So I'm gonna just put that in. So steaks and broccoli with lots of butter, lots of salt. That's always just, we keep it classic. Um, so that's three and you only need five. Excuse me, the carbonation keeps making me burp. Um, okay. What else did I have in mind? And then, yes, so something we were going to make last week, we didn't because Matt didn't want to, even though I was craving it, um, is egg roll in a bowl. So that is also in our cookbook, which I will show you. So I guess we, we called it Asian cabbage bowl instead of egg roll in a bowl. And this is our second cookbook if you have it. She's a winner. I highly recommend you get her. Um, that accent came out of nowhere. And then we also have it on our site. So I'll pull it up on our site. And that is definitely what we'll make. We still have the bag of cabbage. Cabbage stays fresh for super long, guys. I was very, I'm always very impressed by its shelf stability or fridge stability. Um, egg roll. And you can literally any ingredient you're craving, just search it in this. You can type egg, beef cream cheese and whatever we have for that will come up so egg roll in a bowl this is a very delicious classic recipe and I like doing a lot of different flavored things throughout the week because I like exposing Theo's palate my son he's 16 months now um, to all these types of foods I assume it'll make him less picky as an adult or a teenager but who knows and then we always do ground beef with our egg roll bowl, but you can do uh, ground pork. We, we've done that before. Super good. Chicken, turkey, whatever, literally whatever you have. You can even like slice up chicken breasts pretty thin. Um, you can do any kind of meat. And just the uh, the sauce and the seasonings we use, that's all you really – that'll that'll just emulate the delicious flavor of egg roll in a bowl. Okay. Someone said cabbage has a shelf life for like a month. Yeah. I don't know if that's a fact or you're just saying that because you agree, but yeah. Um, someone's having egg roll in a bowl right now. Woo! Oh, someone meal prepped it. We've never meal prepped egg roll in a bowl, but I feel like it would be really good. <clears throat> I feel like all these recipes so far, except st steak and broccoli, you could meal prep that actually. You could meal prep all of this stuff. Um, even the taco night, just prep everything separately and keep it separate and then make the tacos each night you have them. Uh, what else? Mega, what's your Pinterest name? So this board that I've saved one thing to, I will save more to it. I promise you guys. It's, um, under Keto Connect. So you can just go to our Pinterest and then it's called Mega's Meal Plan Board, I believe. I'm, I'll save something, something to it right now because I need one more recipe and I don't have any ideas for it. I'm just going to use Pinterest. Or if you guys have recipes, please share them because I'm always looking for inspiration. I have just been down to eat, uh, whatever. Uh, Mike MC donated $2. Thank you. Restarting keto and catching up on your wit vids. Yay. Well, welcome back. It's the perfect time because you're here for the challenge 30 under 20 starting tomorrow. So I hope you guys are carbo loading right now. Oh my God. I just heard Theo scream. I'm just joking. Don't be carbo loading right now. I used to be super hardcore about that. Like I'm going to start again tomorrow. So I'm just going to eat all the candy and snacks I want right now. Like law school, college. That was like my MO. Um, yeah, but I, I've kind of taken a step back from that, which is nice. Meat doesn't have carbs unless it's processed. That is very true. Um, eggs have like half a carb. Is egg a meat or is it an egg? Um, someone's on a 36 hour fast and they're not sure if they should watch this. Kevin, of course you should watch. You'll have inspiration for when you break your fast. Um, net carbs are carbs, less fiber, USA only in Europe. 
in your and so in every other part of the world except the United States, um, the carb you'll see is the net carbs. It's already deducted all the fiber, and I assume sugar alcohols as well. Uh, chicken crust pizza is a life changer. So that chicken crust pizza um, was on my meal prep planned like three weeks ago and I wanted it so badly and Matt didn't want it. And now he's not doing dairy for the month. He wants to cut out like high histamines because he has like nasal nasal issues and he's he's trying to work on that. I don't know. Should I be sharing this stuff? I just talk a lot. Uh, anyway, so yeah, he's cutting out anything like pre-cooked, or um, smoked, we do a lot of smoked salmon or cheeses. So we're not going to be doing anything dairy. Sad for me. Um, okay, so let's get our last recipe down. It's 627. I know we don't have all night. What looks good? Are you? What are you guys making? Give me some ideas. Someone said, <clears throat> restarting keto t tomorrow too. Is there a sign up for 13 or 20? Or is there something that there's just an understanding? No, there's absolutely a sign up. Here it is. So I think the link Matt put in the this live stream. Um, and you just sign up here. You'll join the challenge. You'll get a packet with all this stuff. And you can help. You can stay accountable. You can join me Sundays. I'm going to be doing this all month. You can stay accountable on Instagram. We also have... Uh, a discord community which is like uh like just a chat stream which is really cool i joined it a couple days ago and i've just been chatting with people it's uh, our curve community site so join the curve and you can join our discord and stay accountable there um someone's making keto shepherd pie yum matt would not eat that grilled shrimp and asparagus grilled everything is so good grilling in the winter is so much fun Someone's eating salmon with kale chips and guacamole. Yes. Can I do this if I just had my baby and I'm breastfeeding? Hi, Kimberly. Um, I don't know why I said it like that. I just, I love that you're nursing and I'm still nursing and I don't love that I'm still nursing. It's a lot. Theo will not leave my side. Um, but can you do, yeah, you can absolutely. So for me, I found that, and I'm not a nutritionist by any means, but for me personally, I found that, just eating enough calories um, and drinking enough water and like trying to get enough sleep. Stress was really um, a big downer on my milk supply. But as long as you eat enough, you drink enough water, get your fats in, I think you can totally do low carb, even do keto. I waited about four months until my milk supply was established to get back on keto. But I think you could give it a try. And if you feel like there's a shift then just you know start eating more carbs add a little bit more back in someone made keto sushi with cauliflower rice bowls homemade keto soups lobster salad on my screen wow that's that's a great sounding dinner um what meals would you recommend for a pescatarian so i mean salmon we have a lot of great uh, recipes on our site seafood wise Shrimp curry, salmon curry, those are my two faves. Um, but yeah, we do a lot of, what do we do? Matt does like a lot of like seafood boils. You can get like packs of like clams and um, just all types of like selfish, shellfish and lobster and stuff and like boil that up. But pescatarian, I would make sure you're just getting a lot of eggs in. You're getting a lot of like good quality dairy if you want. But yeah, I would just I, you can probably make any recipe and just sub in any seafood you want. Um, chicken wings, Daphne, that's a good idea. We should do chicken wings, maybe. You know what? So I've also been doing the past couple weeks. We've been doing one night of like chipotle, chipotle. Did I say that right? Um, because I've been like wanting it really badly. So that's what we do. That's why I'm like unsure of what the fifth recipe should be. So okay, let's scroll. I keep getting distracted. Um, <clears throat> what could we do? I'm feeling like keeping it simple today. I mean, this week, I'm just like, you know, I did a lot of cooking over the holidays for people. Mm, that sounds good. Sesame pork, but like sesame chicken and green beans. Matt doesn't like green beans, but we could do asparagus. Let's see what we're working with here. So, okay. So sometimes you got to go to the recipe itself because where's the recipe? Is this yeah 
um, because they don't show you the ingredients. So you just look at the ingredients. This all looks good to me. Okay, so brown sugar. Um, so that you could sub in probably some stevia or you could even probably just leave it out. I'd be down to just leave it out. Um, everything else sounds really good. I think I want to do this. So I'm going to save it to my board, but instead of pork, I am just going to do, um, chicken. Does that sound good guys? And instead of, so this is what I often do. So instead of the pork, I'm going to do chicken. And then instead of the green beans, I'm going to do asparagus. So then I will just add asparagus to my shopping list for tomorrow. And that also makes it easy. So we're going to do, what was it called? <laughs> um, and then how do I get to my board? Saved. Okay, so these are all our boards. H-I-J-K. Mega's meal planning. Okay, sesame pork and green beans. Okay, so we'll do sesame chicken and asparagus. And that's that. Okay, so we got our five recipes. Um, so yeah, that's how easy it is. Except it's usually a lot quicker because I'm not talking to people and I'm just quickly figuring out what I want to do. Um... Sorry. So yeah, that is that. This is the meals for the week. And then I like to just, so Mondays we usually do taco night. So I'm going to keep that on a Monday. And then Tuesday, you know, what am I thinking? I think so we got the cabbage last week. So we should probably do egg roll in a bowl on Tuesday. So it doesn't go bad. And then we'll do salmon curry, steaks. Sesame chicken is perfect. That's perfect. That's it. And that is that week of meal planning. <clears throat> Someone asked if we tried the keto fries recipe. No. Um, I would personally rather just eat like um, uh, a zucchini fry or like even like a potato fry over just fried almond flour personally. Um, but they like I've heard they're really good. I feel like it's also just a lot of work. I actually watched a video last night. I watched highfalutin low carb. He did a comparison of coconut and almond flour fries. I think he said the coconut flour fries were better or yeah, maybe. Um, but it just seems like a lot of work. So someone's doing steak and lobster. They had someone at ribs. Yum. Uh, pressure cooker stuff. Yeah. So we do a lot of stuff in the pressure cooker. We do, um, oh, well, that is not right. We do like chicken curry a lot. We do short. Oh, Matt wanted to do short ribs this week. Okay. So sometimes I will just add a sixth short ribs, instant pot, short ribs. And so when I add a sixth, I like to just give Matt the option and he can't, where'd it go? And then he can pick and then next week I just add um, whatever I didn't make this week to next week and that makes it really easy. Okay, so I want to do full camera. Hello, since we're done meal planning here and then I want to also pull up some notes. Okay. So I guess I'll, I'll chat a little bit about this hashtag 30 under 20 challenge. So 30 days might sound like a lot, but it's not. And promise me, I promise you that keeping your carbs under 20 net carbs doesn't seem very challenging. And I feel like it's not once you get into a rhythm, like once that first week is under your belt and you have an, you have like an idea of how, how many different things you can eat and what you can actually enjoy. Um, you realize it's doable. And then you also realize how like the consistency of doing 30 days of under 20 net carbs, how big of a difference that actually will make. And it'll just make you want to keep keeping your net carbs really low. So I think this is a great way to start off, even if it's only for January or it's for the rest of the year. I think just having those good intentions and putting them out there and like trying to stay accountable as much as possible, I think that'll serve you so well at this point. Um, so a lot of things, um, so we used to meal prep a lot. We have a ton, we actually have a meal prepping course and we have a, a lot of free meal preps on our site. 
Um, let me see if I can pull some up. Um, <clears throat> and so when we would meal prep, we would meal prep like all our meals. And so breakfast, I think, is quite easy because we like to do um, – we like to do breakfast casseroles and we always make super simple ones so we have a lot in our cookbook that i showed you um so a quick simple one that we did i feel like last week at some point it was just a bunch of eggs with broccoli and cheese and ground beef that was it and it's just so filling and so delicious oh and some tomatoes and that was it was super good you can also do jalapeno egg popper bite or like egg bites like this. And then you can just flavor them however you want. You can keep them simple, just some cheese and bacon, or you can do like Italian seasoning, Parmesan. So it's fun to like just make a bunch of different like egg bites with different flavors and that'll just make your mornings, you know, more exciting and tastier. So this is one of our meal plans. Let me show you. So that's like the entire meal plan. So there's chili. There's this is super old. This is like when we first started Keto Connect. I can't believe like it's all coming back to me. But yeah, so there's chili, there's drumstick, there's broccoli. We did like a, a snack pack. So I love like a snack plate for lunch, something super easy. So I'll do like hard boiled eggs, a couple ounces of cheese, some cherry tomatoes and, you know, some almonds or salted so, salted pecans or something. And that is super filling. It's tasty. And it, like, f you feel like you have more variety. So we have videos. Um, yeah, so you can check out our free, free meal preps. You can look on Pinterest and just make your own meal preps. But, yeah, so we used to meal prep all the time. So we would do breakfast, just like a casserole, something simple. Um and then uh, for dinner, just everything I, I made, I'm making for this week can be meal prepped. And then I feel like one of the things that I struggled with the most, Matt and I struggle with, I feel like Matt maybe a little bit more than me is our, like the sweet cravings. I'm more of a savory person, but when it comes to this challenge, like I feel like all bars, we've been looking at the bars, like what bars can we have? Like Matt's been trying to figure it out. There's not a lot of options out there. Um, not a lot of you know, great ones. You could definitely fit them in. But, um, you know, if you wanted to do like a heavier veggie dinner, maybe bars, I, w I would like save those till the end um, and first eat like my actual nutritious foods. But mug cakes are great. Fat bombs are great. So we have a lot of fat bombs on our site. We have a lot of mug cakes on our site. But yeah, those are probably our two favorite things to make. Just m a mug cake every single night. That really hits the spot for us. And then um, I like to do quick and filling lunches. Like I mentioned, snack plates are great. But my favorite two things are probably egg salad and chicken salad. So high fat, high protein, and very low carb. I like to do celery and I'll sometimes do like almonds for like a nice crunch. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot easier than you think. And if you're just staying accountable with family, with Instagram, with us, I think this is going to be a great challenge. Um, yeah, I feel like I don't really have much else. I didn't let me look at these comments. Oh, um, Meg, uh, someone said, why did Mega say leave out the swerve? No, 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 you don't have to leave out the swerve of that. Let me pull it up <clears throat> of this recipe. This let me screen share this recipe right here you do not have to leave out the swerve at all i um i don't know if we have brown sugar swerve first of all and then we just we don't like to put like things like swerve into our dinners because if theo's having them we just prefer not to have the swerve in it but a little bit sw of swerve a little bit of sweetener won't be an issue but if you don't have that i that's why i was saying like stevia a little bit of liquid stevia would do the trick as well give you that slight sweet taste but i think even without the sweetener it would be super good. But yeah, mostly for Theo, we like to just leave out um, sweeteners if possible. And this it's totally possible with this recipe. Uh, Beatrix Roomford, 10, $9.99, number one fan. Thank you, Beatrix. Hello. Donna, $4.99, starting over, started with Keto Connect 2018, lost 60 pounds, pandemic, ha sorry, has gained 30 back. Well, congratulations on that. 60 pound loss and still the 30 pounds down that you are 
I mean, the pandemic this past year was rough on a lot of people, but it's a new year and we have a challenge starting tomorrow. I am very excited. You, you should just be excited and let what happened in the past just be in the past and look forward to the future ahead of us. Um, we do a lot of leftovers because it's just the two of us. So I'm a big leftover person. There's actually a Netflix show that I just saw uh, like a ad for. I think it's called The Best Tasting Leftovers. And that really got me excited. But Matt hates leftovers. He will not do leftovers often. So that's why we do nightly fresh meals. Also, we do have the time, which is nice. Um we do a two-week rotation of meals and switch out meals as we get sick of them. That's smart too, Gina. Um, I, I Lately, I've been like wanting more variety. Matt's pretty good at just like, you know, he could probably eat steak and veggie every night for like five nights in a row. But that to me gets exhausting. Mentally, it feels exhausting. And then, you know, I'm like, you know, trying to <clears throat> see what, what else I can eat. I want to get snacks, you know, in play. And I kind of just get... um get out like away from myself that's why I like to meal plan and I have exciting meals ahead for the week because it, it gives me something to look forward to that's just the kind of person I am um I have egg bites for breakfast every morning except weekends that's great I think egg bites are great we have macro muffins which are super good super they're safe they're sweet so you can eat them as a dessert but you can also eat them for breakfast I've done that super good Cass Rob ten dollars thank you so much Beatrix you don't need another $4.99 thank you you don't have any you guys should ask questions someone said what are good snacks I love sweets and need to stay away from them yeah so for this challenge in particular um I have I always have hard-boiled eggs in the fridge so I have a bunch right now I like those as a snack so that with some nuts that's always really filling for me there's always meat sticks are a great option we have a bunch of chomps um that we love Theo even loves them our son um what else can you do anything like you meal prep like if we have chicken that I spatchcocked two days ago and then I had leftovers I ate like a cold thigh for a snack um so really just anything that's going to be really filling I like to have for a snack but again if it's that sweet tooth you can do mug cakes you can do fat bombs um and you can make them very very low carb does anyone still take fatty coffees or teas i think a lot of people do matt i think he made a bulletproof coffee today or maybe he just blended something up but a lot of people still do i think <clears throat> that's a great way to get your day started with a lot of fat um and it'll keep you really full in the morning you'll be productive um coffee with cream about as much as i can handle yeah that's great do you have a keto tuna salad recipe? No, but I think we have a chicken salad recipe and you can probably do tuna. I love tuna salad. That's I, I always forget that tuna salad is a thing. So yeah, oh, this is a really good, the fajita chicken salad. I don't know if that would be good as tuna, but this low carb chicken salad super good. Um, and then you can just replace, you can put tuna in there. And so then, yeah, when you do the chicken salad or the tuna salad, like I, I mentioned as a quick lunch, uh, you can do different seasonings. So I like to do curry a lot of the time. That's super tasty. Do you have a keto non-bread recipe video? Yes, we do. I will pull that up right now. And it's super good. Right here. And you can eat it with our butter chicken. Butter chicken's a great recipe to do for this challenge. Um, one of the most freeing things about keto for me is any food at any time. I'm over the breakfast food, lunch food, dinner food thing. Yeah, for sure. I'll eat like ground, I'll eat chili for breakfast. Um, good food is good food, man. You know, um, what else? How do we sign up and what's involved? You sign up here. The link should be in this video. So it's the 30 under 20 challenge name, email, join the challenge. We got over 2,500 people and we start tomorrow. And if you can't start tomorrow, start Tuesday. You know, there's no rush to it. But um, we will be here. We will be doing, I'll be doing these meal plannings every Sunday. And so you can join here with me and prep your meals. What are you guys making? Tell me what you're making for the weekend. 
have you guys prepped anything or do you just like to wait till the last minute? Oh, you're right. I did pull a bunch of stuff up, but I did not share my screen. That's why Matt's the engineer here. Okay. So here's our naan. And then right there you saw was our butter chicken. So butter chicken would be good. Uh, really good for this challenge. And then I think I also pulled something else up. <clears throat> oh, yeah. The chicken salad. So this is our low carb chicken salad. You can sub in the tuna. Here's another one. So this is a rotisserie chicken. You can use three ways. I forgot about that. Rotisserie chicken is bomb and so easy. We do a lot of rotisserie chicken for lunches, guys. Um, cream cheese fluff for dessert. Yeah. So whip up some heavy cream and then fold in some cream cheese. Add some cocoa powder and sweetener. That is like a delicious fat bomb bowl. You can even top it with some like cut up strawberries and blackberries. I love, I've been doing so many berries lately. Um, so I'm going to be cutting down on my blueberry intake for sure. But blackberries are great. And then I'm going to definitely do some strawberries. Just keep a little eye on the carbs. But they're so expensive right now because they're out of season. It's sad. Um... So excited you guys have created this challenge. Just what needed, just what I needed to start the year off. Also, big thanks for being my go-to motivation for keto help over these years. I'm down 70 pounds. Yay, keto craze life. Congratulations. And I think whether or not we needed this challenge, I think it's going to be very nice to have this community aspect starting out in this year and to have you guys join me on Sundays. Costco rotisserie chicken in egg wrap for lunch. That sounds bomb, Vincent. So I got the Costco rotisserie chicken once. It's so big, which I love. But Matt didn't like it. <laughs> so uh, if you can't tell by now, he's quite particular. I'll eat any rotisserie chicken because just the fact that it is has has been rotisseried um, makes it really tasty to me. But he didn't like it, so we don't get that one anymore, sadly. Um, someone prepped chorizo but they removed the comment trying curry for the first time this week jessica oh i still see i should be full camera right now yes jessica eat some curry you guys so good matt tried indian food for the first time with me and i i, I don't i didn't know it was his first time i don't think and i just went full-on indian and i was eating with my hands so I, I guess i'm very lucky that he came back because that's probably not a turn on um, would love to see more of what Theo eats. Yeah, we could definitely do more Theo days of eating. We're actually vlogging tomorrow. So on Tuesday, you will see what Theo's eating. Do you like the marigold bars? Yeah, we do like them. Matt loves them. I don't know what the net carbs on those are, but I don't think Matt will be eating those for this challenge. But yeah, we really do like them. Do you feed Theo Indian? Yeah, Theo eats literally everything we eat. And we got Indian food on Christmas with my dad and my brother. And he loved the Indian food. He had tandoori chicken. What else did he have? Yeah, I think that's it. Um, and we're, oh, guys, Tuesday, we're doing egg roll bowl. No, we're not. So Tuesday, and I, I'm, I don't like to share this. And it sounds like I do like to share this because I'm sharing it. But Tuesday... I, and I don't want to lie. So Tuesday is my birthday and I want Indian food. So Matt said, and we'll see if he does this. Matt said he's going to cook Indian food for me. So um, Indian food. I'm just going to put Indian food because someone's getting Indian food. Her name's Mega. And if it's not from Matt, it's going to be from a restaurant because that's what I want. Uh do you recommend having keto sweets ready or to cut those out initially? <laughs> that is very dependent on you. Um, I think I think it also depends on where you're coming from. So for me, like cutting them out didn't make sense. I used Quest Bars as like a hardcore crutch the first several months. I ate a Quest Bar every single day when I first started out. It was like a dessert, but it also felt guilt free because it's low carb and it was um, had protein in it. And so I felt good about that. But like it wouldn't have made sense for me to cut out sweets entirely because it would have made me want them more. And then I would have felt like it's too restrictive. So if it's something that um, 
you're like the kind of person who likes dessert every night, then maybe like try going down to four times a week and just have a keto dessert because you don't want to do something that's too restrictive and then ultimately not stick to it. You want longevity. You want something that's going to be long term for you. So if desserts are a part of it in the beginning, then there's no issue with that. Just over time, if you find that, you know, they are a crutch or like you're overdoing it or you're not having the success you want, then you can slowly just cut back on them. Um, ground beef with Brussels sprouts done in bacon grease for my lunches. Yum. That sounds super good. Brussels sprouts give me so much gas. I just, it's an ultimate tummy ache guys. Um, how do you track something you cooked like cheesecake? So put all of the ingredients into whatever app you use. We use chronometer. You can use my fitness pal. You can use life sum. So like eight ounces of cream cheese, you know, four ounces of sour cream, whatever, all the ingredients, and then just divide the macros up by how many slices. So eight slices, 10 slices, and those are your macros for one slice. Um, everyone's saying happy early birthday. Thank you so much. Uh, hi, Mega. My girlfriend Bridget loves your channel. Any tips for simple keto desserts? Yeah, so I talked about a couple of fat bombs and mug cakes are our top two we go to. Matt will probably be making or will be making mug cakes for sure this month. Um, but simple desserts, I mean, that aren't packaged. You can meal prep really any dessert. So like you can meal prep all of our cookies. They taste really great out of the freezer. So our peanut butter cookies we shared recently. I'll pull those up for you. Um, those are super simple, three ingredient. And they, I've personally eaten them right out of the freezer and they're super good. So super simple recipe, like I said. Let me look at these macros here, guys. So there are the ingredients. So the macros, so one cookie is three net carbs. So you could totally have one of those even two, depending on where you land for, um, this challenge. Okay. Uh, chocolate coated pecans. That's great. You could use, um, like a hundred percent and then add some sweetener to it and melt that down. Maybe with, with some coconut oil for sure. It won't melt on its own. Are mug cakes eggy? Hell no, they're not eggy. They are so good, and we have so many good ones. Okay, let me pull up mug cakes now, guys. Mug cakes are not eggy. Oh, my God. They are bomb, so we have so many mug cakes. Okay. This this one is super good, this blueberry mug cake. This pumpkin mug cake's really good. Matt's sister made that. Um, this cinnamon mug cake, th they're all just super good. This peanut butter mug cake's really good. Uh, berries, stevia, coconut milk, ice cream, smoothie, and refreeze. Sounds really good. I feel like I want to make that now. <laughs> Do you still use monk fruit? Yeah, we still use monk fruit. Um, morning coffees. Um, okay, okay. I feel like I've been on here for a while. I said I was going to do 30 minutes. It's been 50 minutes. How do you feel about nuts on keto? Um, there's some, first thing, there's some that, be that are better than others. Macadamia nuts, almonds, pecans. I think those are like the top ones that, the top best ones, I would say. Walnuts also, maybe. Um, I think the issue is they're just really easy to eat in high amounts. They're very calorically dense, super tasty. So what I do like to do is if we're going to buy them, I buy them raw. And it's harder to eat raw nuts. I mean, it's doable, but it's harder than eating like roasted salted nuts. Those are just so easy. And you can portion them out. And so if you want to have them, if you have like serving size portioned out baggies, then it's easier to stay, you know, accountable. Hi, love you guys. I agree with what you're saying. I think people should not eat sweet alternatives in the beginning. So hard to control the portions. Yeah, but you can also like just portion everything out um, and find somewhere to be accountable here. Instagram, family, friends, um, our Discord community on the Curve membership site. You made our bagel recipe and tagged us. Yay. You and Matt are an amazing family. Thank you. That's so sweet. 
We try to be. I think everyone's an amazing family. I think having kids, that's just, you're just a good selfless person. I Matt always says it's a selfish act, but it is truly selfless to have kids and to be a good parent. I think it's, you know, it's easy to have kids and then not be a good parent. But, yeah. Will you ever have merch again? Cups, shirts, mugs? Um, I don't know. It's, you know, it's really up to Matt. I always suggest it. My brother always suggests it. My brother definitely wants us to be doing merch. But Matt's not really up for it, so... Yeah, he calls all the shots when it comes to Keto Connect. I just control all the finances. And if you're a woman, you know what I'm saying. Because that's all that matters. Um, I make a plain mug cake and add birthday cake extract. Whoa, I didn't know that was an extract. That sounds great. How are How is my sideburn looking, guys? I love olives for snacks. Someone said not me. I hate olives, but Matt loves olives too. Olives are a great idea. If you get them in oil, we just like to make sure that they're not in like sunflower oil or uh, cottonseed oil. Same with like oysters or sardines or anything. Just look for olive oil. I don't know if olives come in water. Um, someone said my sideburns on fleek. <laughs> Thank you, Curves Become Me. I like that name. Okay, I am just getting... Ahead. What about miracle noodles and soup? I think it's a, a miracle noodles are definitely a choir. I like them personally because at this point I'll like eat anything and I don't like feel bad if I'm not having real pasta or real bread. Like I enjoy just like it, it it's like a placebo effect. I feel like I'm eating noodles if I'm eating miracle noodles, you know. Um Palmini does like pasta soup. I love Palmini pasta, super good. I feel like that'll be great for this challenge. We have a bunch of cans. I'll probably do that. Um with like pesto, yum, parmesan, yum, chicken. Uh it never gets easier to be a parent. My kids are 25 and 19. <laughs> Don't say that. I often we talk about or I talk about Matt doesn't talk about Matt's really present he loves being with our son so much and it makes him so happy and I I feel the same way don't get me wrong but I already like fantasize with Matt I'm like oh one day they're gonna be out of the house and we're gonna be like 60 and you know just going to Italy and drinking wine and when the kids come over we're gonna be like get out of our house and they can actually just get out you know (laughs) um Hello. Uh, are you dropping any new recipe videos? Weekly, baby. I think weekly. I think, yeah, weekly. Um, we're recording more recipe videos on Tuesday, actually. Never easy, always worth it. Yeah. I guess one there. I think everything is just like that. Kids, um, challenges, diet changes, lifestyle changes, uh, relationships, Nothing ever should come easy, but it's always worth it. So definitely join us for this hashtag 30 under 20 challenge. Don't forget to sign up. Stay accountable with us. Um, On Instagram, we have a graphic you can use. I don't. It's not pulled up here anywhere, but um, basically you just fill in like what day it is. If you uh, got exercise, uh, if you stayed under 20 net carbs, if you didn't weigh yourself, that to me, I think is like the most important thing, especially what I'm going to focus on is like not weighing myself and focusing on nutrient density. Um, Because I find that when that's the case that I'm just happier and like if weight loss isn't my priority or like, you know, the scale number, then I'm able to be more present and present, enjoy my food, enjoy my family. And um, maybe the same will be for you. If you're a, if you're a chronic wear, morning wear, then uh, put it away for a month. See how it makes you feel. See if it's any different. But it is 7 o'clock. Theo's going to bed, which means I'm going to bed. But thank you guys for being here so much. This was so fun. I hope you liked it. I hope I didn't just ramble and babble. Um, someone has nine kids. Wow. That is phenomenal. If my body will let me, I think we're going to go for three. That's that. Um, okay. Bye. Have a great night and, uh, yay for the challenge. Hashtag 30 under 30.
I'll see you next Sunday.